a drone. Oh, that is <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> Welcome back to Everything Whiskey. I'm Callum. And I'm Sam. And today we're reviewing Maker's Mark. <laughs> Alrighty, so regular Maker's Mark, cracking open now. We got the Alita this time, it was on special. So we'll just go for the big boy. Now, um, <laughs> now Maker's Mark's 40% bourbon, obviously. Um, I think the process that makes it a bit. <laughs> Jesus. That makes it, uh, I think, smoother and a bit more easygoing on the taste is that they don't use rye in their mash bill. They use like a, a red winter uh, wheat or something, which wheat in whiskeys generally give it a bit more of a creamier taste, less of the uh, spice that you get from, like the herbal spices you get from rye. It's aged for, I think they said six to seven years, so yeah, pretty good for, bourbon, for this age as well, I guess. Not bad. Weird. It's only 40%, it's so it's weird. on that weaker side. Yeah, it's, it's thin. I like Makers. Makers was my first whisk, uh, first bourbon that I actually enjoyed. It was a long time ago, though. Um, the Makers 46 was tasty. Makers 46 is my favourite Makers. I want to taste I the, really can't um, get much out of the nose at all. I'm the, about to say the same thing. It's very candy sweet. Get a little I'm paint kinda, stripper in there. I'm getting, <laughs> I think that's what I was about to say. It's the wax. I think yeah. like the wax. I'm smelling this wax. Which wouldn't make no really any sense. No. Might just be... It smells brain. like paint stripper and it's thin. It's weird. I, I don't... It sounds like we're... It's not offensive It sounds like weird. we're... <laughs> saying Makers is bad. I like Makers. I, I don't know. Just yeah, smelling I a bit weird for us well. today. Just smelling a bit different. Ah, just splashed in my eye. No, it's smelling thin. There's like no wood bitter. Waxy, sweet lollies. Getting like yeah, a fresh, candy. fresh green apple I'm getting. Hmm. I'm not going to be much help in the way of nose. I'm it's just like going to go in and taste it. Yeah. Green grass. So much tastier than it is. Way better those. tasting. It's really bitey actually. Like, mm. like, not spicy, but the alcohol's kind of like dancing on my tongue a little bit. It's nice. Way more flavor in the palate than the nose. Although I don't remember having any trouble with the nose normally. It might just be, we've, what are we, well, we did eat some cheese and bacon balls. That's probably gonna dull a lot of things down. Yeah. We'll adapt, we'll, we'll adapt to this. See how we go. I like the taste though. It's still got that kind of waxy, walnutty sweetness to it, though. Um, you can taste that candy sweetness on there. Yeah, it's very sweet. You can tell that it's a, like, a, you can see why it's such a popular bourbon. Which, I know some people have a lot, well, not a lot, but a, a fair amount of people have kind of, like, an issue with those, like, big brands, because they are so popular, and they must be, like, pandering to, like, the widest audience, and... 40%, like they're doing things that kind of whiskey, you know, nerds frown on a little bit. But I have no issue with makers whatsoever. Like, I get it, they're a big brand. They did their job well when they, when, um, what's it called? The alcohol was made illegal. Um, they did their job in marketing to keep themselves relevant and stuff. They, you know, I'm no, I have no issue with makers. Yeah, I don't have an issue with uh, makers. I think they're just like, they're obviously a massive brand, but they're, they're doing good things and making consistent, decent whiskey. They're not, I don't know, doing anything shady. They're just really popular, and I, I think that just comes with some hate. Um, but I know it's a nice, just middle. Like I mean, it's not. I guess it's not even like super typical bourbon because they didn't use rye. So yeah. some of the spices that you get with typical bourbons isn't there. So I wouldn't even be able to call this like typical classic bourbon. It is nice though. I can tell, I can see why it's friendly and uh, uh, why a lot of people who aren't like massive whiskey nerds like it. It's just way too sweet for me personally. It's a bit too sweet for me, it is. And I'm not getting a whole lot of notes at the moment. I don't know why though. It's just like, you know those candy apples that you get on a yeah, stick when you're it in carnival? It's basically yeah, it's, like that. It is, because it is apples, but it's so sweet. The barrel um, impact isn't like super high. Like, it's there, but it's not, I don't know, it just doesn't show up the way a lot of other bourbons do with yeah. the spices and the bitterness and 
uh, I don't know, it's kind of the herbal notes, but again, I think that's the rise contribution inside a barrel. Mm. Just, uh, it's missing that, I guess. Um, there's vanilla. Vanilla's not like huge, but it's, it's, there, it's there. It's still biting my tongue in a weird way though. Is it doing that for you? Not really. Because I'm getting, yeah. I don't know why, I'm getting some weird bite on my tongue. It's a bite, but it dissipates almost it's, immediately. It, and it's really light, but it's yeah. just um, it's just surprising coming from a 40% whiskey compared to the other kinds of, you know, stags and stuff which we've had. This is one of the whiskeys where I sit like this and... Yeah, just, just chill just, back. Yeah. It's enjoyable. It's just not a whiskey you need to be, like, super focused on. Yeah. Like, it doesn't benefit from you kind of, like, putting it under a microscope. It's better to just kind I mean, of like kick back. I mean, it's made for that. It's made yeah, for, like, made more relaxed, just, yeah. the huge audience. Yeah. No, I, exactly. I think just like chilling out, watching a movie, sitting by a fire, this is a mm. good bourbon. As long as you're just like doing other things. If you're trying to like explore this for ages, it's not, there's just not a whole lot that you're going to come back with. It's, yeah. I imagine it's not going to be changing a lot. It's pretty consistent. But no, it's nice. It's good bourbon. I like, I like makers. I've always liked makers. I like what they do. I think the 46 is fantastic. We need a review of that. Nice, yeah. um, I get some like white wine notes in that mm -hmm. that are just fantastic. So we'll do one of those. We need to get a hands on the uh, the cask strength. I think that'll really do some good things for the yeah. makers. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Raising Whiskey. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and buy Makers Mark. It's good bourbon. We recommend it. Um, check out our socials, We've got Twitter now, Everything Whiskey. Um, we'll link it down below. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.